So this guy here, which we've seen a few times, is Agent Rainbow. They deserved it. Cut loose. You were supposed to help them. We were supposed to be their therapist. But I'm no therapist and I'm not trained to be a therapist. But I'm thinking that he didn't say the right things either. One of my objectives now is to get this gas mask. The straps are broken. I'll have to hold it. This should help with the gas. wonder where this comes out. Just went around in a circle. That one kind of looks like it's on this floor. But I can't go down this way. I can, but it hurts. enemies
So there's a set of pills just there. I don't know how to get that one. So this is the room of the guy I was just in the area of. Between 1945 and 1973, the government and CIB held numerous major experiments involving psycho psychoactive drugs. See research on MK Montauk Files, Philadelphia Shipyard, etc. Files found on Greenland shark toxins, tryptocybin mushroom extracts, rainbow herbicides, Agent Orange, Agent Purple, where does rainbow fit in, Agent Green, soldiers equal government property, leads to civilians equal private risk reward. Known establishments and associate locations. Mayor Corporation, 600 Mayor Boulevard, Morristown, NJ. Mayor Corporation, 980 Pennsylvania Avenue, Washington, D.C. Blocks from the White House. Mayor Distribution, 10 Quarry Lane, Milton Haven, Washington which we now know wasn't a simple distribution center. They were manufacturing the pills that I'm using. Mayor AG, Friedrich Ebert, Stripe, no idea what that letter is. Dusseldorf, Germany. Mayor Pharmaceuticals. Revenue. 22 million, 24 million, 28 million. Three years in a row. I did see all that stuff. So to power this. 
I need to start at the other end. How am I supposed to get that one? There we go. Lucas Rorsak test, huh? Familiar? Sure, don't be surprised if I see something freaky. Alright then, first image. Looks like a house on a lake. Right, alright. Second image. Some sort of mushroom cloud. Third image. Oh, um, kind of looks like a... Uh, hey, can I get a drink of water? I'm not feeling too hot all of a sudden. Encram's transcript. And here's Lucas's vinyl. I pray for you, Alfonso Wheeler, as I do every night, that your soul may be at peaceful rest, that you watch over your brothers, here amongst the living where you should be. If it were not for dire mistakes and unfortunate circumstances, I beg your forgiveness and your help, friend. Give me strength to overcome those who seek to enslave our minds, to shine a light to those in darkness, to restore faith for those who are lost. Amen. There we go, now I've got his record. I'll go back to my room. 
a tree. While the ads are running, I might try to get some more. That one I can't work out. That one I'm not sure of either. Is this one right here? Enemies. Very nice. That one's like in the wall just here. Between this wall. And this wall. Does this work on these big guys? Yes, it does. Well, that'll save on ammo. I'll go back to my apartment, listen to this other song that I've just picked up. I am. 
I can listen to songs with this. I thought these songs and lyrics were supposed to be about their story. That one was all about him creating a band with friends and the band this breaking is up. That was nothing to do with his story. Lucas Cole, age 55. Diagnosis, post-traumatic stress disorder, suspected delusional disorder, paranoid tendencies, circumstances of treatment. Patient sought treatment on his own upon relocation to Milton Haven. Previous attempts at therapy have been mentioned as unsuccessful, unsatisfactory. Lucas mentioned he's felt ignored and dismissed by previous therapists as well as army officials and the veteran veterans association personal history born and raised in northern florida patient has excellent test scores throughout school and was determined to be the first member of his family to go to college however patient enlisted in the army following the steps of his father Duan Cole, where he showed an affinity for electronics. Lucas spent 14 months fighting overseas before returning home. Patient suffers from a clear case of PTSD relating to combat, loss of friends, 
patient claims to have been drugged during the war, an accusation he says would not be believed or taken seriously by anyone during or after his service. Patient came back stateside and has been obsessively looking for answers, a quest that has led him here. Lucas claims he has secured a job as a groundskeeper at Elysium State Park and he was authorized to reside in a small cabin if he fixed it up, which he did. Psychological notes. Patient is thoughtful and open when speaking about most topics. When the subject of war comes up, patient seems to show some symptoms of psychotic psychosis. He speaks of monsters. Though he speaks very clearly and convincingly. Further consultation is advised before reaching a final diagnosis. Patient has a clear post-traumatic adrenal response to memories of combat. Vivid memory, vivid imagination. Patient's father passed away 10 years ago. Lucas oddly deflects any and all questions about his mother. Hmm. Careful out there. So I'm going to see if I can wander around this hotel and get some of these hills that I've missed before Monday and we will hopefully <laughs> I said this for the last couple of streams yep I have a lot to answer for I agree Tonya I will collect as many as I can by Monday and that hopefully man, finish up Monday can do whatever they want with her research yep they have to be stopped yep I agree Tonya So yeah, I will be collective unconscious, huh? Sounds complicated. I'll pause it to stop Tonya talking. <laughs> so yeah, I'll finish it now, end up the stream here. Yeah.